30 days from now, you and I are both gonna be better pilots and I'm gonna be doing this little mini challenge too, so I really hope you'll join me. So all of our aviation knowledge is very much in the category of use it or lose it type skills. It's kind of like another language, unless we're regularly studying Spanish and using it, we're just gonna forget it, honestly. And so I find that unless you have a check ride coming up or you're cramming for your flight review, I find that it's hard to really prioritize it on a daily basis. And so I wanted to be able to come up with kind of this group challenge to try to bump it back up in the priority list because it's important. So for 15 minutes a day for the next 30 days, I'm going to be brushing up on my ground school knowledge and I'll give you different ways to do that. But I really, really feel like the sharper we can remain on this stuff, the better off we're going to be in the cockpit. So here's what I'm going to be doing and what I'm asking you to do along with me in just three easy steps. Number one is just to pick what you wanna study and I'll give you some very specific ideas here in a minute. Number two is just spend 15 minutes a day for 30 days. If you miss a day, don't be too hard on yourself, but aim for 15 minutes a day, 30 days in a row. And then number three is tell somebody about it and have a quick check-in with them each week. And I'll explain why this part is absolutely the most important here in a second. So first, pick what you wanna study. One way you could start would be to study whatever online or ground school you're currently using or you've used in the past. You can watch some videos, read a chapter, however you'd like to spend that 15 minutes. But one huge caveat on this is to take notes. And that might sound obvious, but I, I cannot recommend this enough. When you watch a video in ground school, like take your own notes because you're probably not going to go back and rewatch that 10 minute video. It's just not practical, unless you like really need to to understand it. But in terms of like reviewing it and brushing up on it, you're way more likely to review just your quick bullet point notes than you are watch the entire video. So if you can do that, like spend your 15 minutes during this 30 days, like just go watch one video from ground school and take notes and then you can study those notes for like five minutes. And then the next 15 minute, you know, next day, just start off reviewing those notes and then go watch another another video and add to those notes. And by the end of it, you have like a really awesome study guide that that's what you can start to study long-term. Another thing you could study, you could also choose to read the FAQ or the P-HACK or leave me a comment how you pronounce it, but it's the P-H-A-K, which is the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. This is an FAA publication and it's actually pretty solid, honestly. Uh, it covers everything from aerodynamics to systems and airspace, some regulations and a lot more stuff. <clears throat> and you can order it online and have the physical copy or it's actually available for free from a PDF download directly from the FAA's website. So I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna pick that up. I think it's actually pretty readable and it covers a ton of what you need to know as a pilot. So I actually read the entire book cover to cover and took a bunch of notes while I was working on my private pilot study flashcards, which just recently came out. And that's another thing you could choose to use during this 30 day challenge. It took me well over a year, but I put together about 350 study flashcards that covers material from the FAC, uh, the regulations from the FARS, and then the aeronautical information manual, which is the AIM. Um, put a lot of custom illustrations in it and had everything reviewed and edited by a really solid panel of CFIs. Um, I, I just made them the way that I want to use them. So it has a single focus on each card that makes it really easy to set aside the stuff you've mastered from the stuff that still needs review. Um, and if you'd like to use these during the challenge, I think they can be really helpful. You can visit airplaneacademy.com slash flashcards, or I'll also put a link down in, this, uh, down in the description. And so that's what I'll be using during this challenge, and it's pretty turnkey, but it's not the only thing that you could use, but I did want you to know about them. The other thing you could do is just pick out one or more really solid aviation books to further your learning. Like one of my favorites is Engines by Mike Bush. Uh, it teaches you so much good stuff about piston engines that they just really don't have time to teach you in flight school. I think that's a really good one. And as smart as he is and as technical as the book is, it's actually really approachable. So uh, definitely for any aircraft owner, I recommend this book, but also student pilots. It's just gonna help you really understand what's going on under the hood and how to treat your engine a little bit better. Uh, but you could also pick up books like Flying the Weather Map by Richard Collins, that's a good one, or Aircraft Systems by David Lombardo. Uh, I really liked that one. And these all put what you learned in ground school into application. So it doesn't have to be uh, you studying ground school per se, but if you can pick like a really good aviation book, I, I think that's absolutely furthering your ground school knowledge. And I'll put links to all of these books down in the description. Step two is to spend just 15 minutes a day, but really don't beat yourself up if you miss a day. Like the, the point isn't for this to be like a negative experience. Just like do the best you can and try to enjoy it. We're just trying to get it a little bit better every day. The big thing here is that we're really working on fluency, not just strict memorization for the sake of memorization. And fluency takes a ton of repetition and it takes, you know, looking at things from a bunch of different angles. So reading books, using flashcards, going through your ground school, like seeing in action, putting into practice, like all of these things 
from these different angles, that's what it's gonna take to become fluent and that's really what's most important. Third, and this is honestly, I think the most important part here, so don't skip it, is to find accountability. This is huge and it doesn't have to be overly rigid. So just tell someone you're going to do this and then ask them to check in with you once a week. And to make this dead simple, just steal this text and send it to a friend. Say, hey Goose, <laughs> that sounded funnier in my head. Just say, hey, I'm going to do a 30 day aviation study challenge and spend 15 minutes a day studying aviation ground school or swap it out with whatever you're studying. This is really important to me and I could really use some friendly accountability to make sure I stick to it. So would you be willing to set a reminder to text me Monday mornings for four weeks and ask me if I studied last week? And if I didn't, just ask me what's standing in the way. That would mean a lot to me. So feel free to join me in this challenge too if you wanna study something meaningful to you for 15 minutes a day and we can do it together. And I'll put that script down in the description. You can literally just copy and paste it, but please, please don't skip this step. It is hugely important. I'll give you a perfect example why. So there's a really interesting study from Dominican University that assessed a group of a few hundred people trying to achieve goals. And the group that just thought about the goals in their head achieved the least, which sounds obvious, but think about how often we do this. Like we might have goals, but we only just think about it. In contrast, the group that achieved the most wrote down their goals, wrote down action commitments, sent all of that to a friend, and then had weekly check-ins with that friend to see how they were doing. Now that might sound like a lot, but I promise this doesn't have to be complicated at all. Like your action plan can just be to study whatever you chose earlier in step one, we've already talked about that. Your plan is to do 15 minutes a day, which you already talked about in step two, and then check in with your friend each week to tell them if you did it or not. That's what we just talked about through that text message. So really through steps one through three, we have already uh, started to do the stuff that this study says is the most effective way to achieve your goals. And I'll also just throw it out there, like if you don't really have someone in your life that you feel like is gonna encourage you in this way, if you want to, just like send me an email once a week. I can't re I can't promise that I'm always gonna respond, but like just send an email to hello at airplaneacademy.com and say, hey, this is day one of my 30 day challenge. Here's what I'm doing next week, check in, just send me an email. Like I'll try to respond if I can, but like I wanna support you any way I can. I know your friends probably do too, but like the point is I think at the end of this 30 days, like we can grow a ton and it doesn't have to be really that big of a commitment. So I know there's a lot to cover, but like let's just boil it down to really simple steps. Step one is to pick something to study. If you wanna get my cards to use, they're available over at airplaneacademy.com slash flashcards, but any of the other study tools I mentioned will work too. Step two is just to commit to 15 minutes a day for 30 days, and if you miss a day, don't beat yourself up, just jump back in, don't make it painful. And then step three is to tell somebody about it and ask them to check in with you weekly. So I'll see you during the challenge. If you want, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're gonna be studying the next 30 days. I uh, would love to hear how things are going for you down there. It's really, really cool to think, hey, in just 30 days, we can know and remember a lot more than we do right now. It's gonna ultimately make us better pilots and that's worth fighting for. So let's get after it. <laughs>